Transformers has always been about choice. Do you choose to be an Autobot or do you choose to be a Decepticon? Hasbro tells us that for every single Decepticon toy they sell, they sell an Autobot toy, right? So fans are really split right down the middle. As a result, when you put that disc in, you can start with Autobot 1 or you can start with Decepticon 1. If I play the Decepticon campaign first, I really am playing through in chronological order, but if I want to play Autobots first, absolutely you can do that. And the story is really cool and makes sense and you're gonna have a great time. You do very, very different things in each campaign. Every level of our game is 100% co-op. You always have two buddies with you. You can hop in when we're playing on live with your friends, can join in, join out whenever you want. What fans are gonna get out of this game that they're not expecting is some really big boss fights. You're fighting guys that are you know, smaller than you and guys that are 200 times bigger than you. The attacks are switching up and you're having to adapt and react and there's even boss fights where they're manipulating the environment against you. I'm a Decepticon at heart. So I always play the Decepticon campaign first, if given the choice. Honestly, it really is about your personal preference. 